Hey, you're here. Come on in. I seem to be in a really good mood this morning. I wonder why that. Why would yeah. that be? Yeah. Well, because as Mike very Corston. Very little sleep. Yeah, very little sleep. Sleep, as Mike Corston said to me. The Blue Jays won last night, so really excited yes, about a big fine. Blue Jays that's win fine. down at the Dome. <laughs> Lots of fun there. No, oh, uh, <laughs> the Leafs won. If you didn't stay up for it, and it was a crazy one. And and you were saying that you had kind of. Dozed off asleep. because they were losing. Morning, guys. Morning, everybody. Morning. Um, Morning. So they, they were losing 4 1. So then I was just like, I, I kept it on because yeah. I had the TV in the, in the bedroom. And then I kept it on. I fell asleep and then woke up back up and it was tied. <laughs> what, am I what did I miss? What the heck? Okay. So, and then uh, I stayed up and then fell back asleep and woke up again and then they won in overtime. So. So that's the key to their success. Is yep. me falling asleep yes. with the TV on. Perfect. <laughs> Good so for you. I will continue to do that theme. Uh, we'll, so we'll talk all about that because huge win for the Leafs last night in Tampa. How are you guys doing? Good, thank you. Yep. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah. Did you guys see, like yesterday I was, I was driving home from work and there was things falling on my windshields that I didn't know what it was. Oh, Steve, uh, Steve Reddick was talking about that last night on the 6th. Grapple. Is it grapple. Grapple. Yeah. Grapple. Okay, so what, I had never what, heard that term. What is before. grapple? And some areas had hail yesterday okay. as well. I think it was it was like a wet. It would like it would grapple. hit the windshield and then go That's like kind of like yeah yeah okay, yeah. Okay, so like what is for wet. a second and then it goes away? Yeah. 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 That's grapple. basically it. It's it falls. It just freezes, but not quite, and then it just it just splatters when it yeah. hits your windshield. So it's in between and hail and, and snow. Yeah. It's, hail. And, and at least it wasn't bird. You know what? That, that you were talking <laughs> yeah, you about yesterday. The that it was, it was easy when your wife goes away. <laughs> yeah, like some of the other stuff. Does That's it. right. Yeah. Some, you got to just keep hitting that windshield washer yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah exactly. That was yeah. uh, that was yesterday. That kind of summed up, I guess. Uh, yep. Monday. That's right. And the temperature only got to seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> That's half of a seasonal daytime high for this time of year. Yeah. Thanks, oh. Mother Nature. Yeah, really. Yeah, thanks right. an awful well. lot. Well, first edition of your morning chit chat, and I think you guys are going to like this story. Okay. I do, because in less than two weeks, mm. the UK is going to be in a huge, huge celebration with everyone eating quiche. Okay. Quiche and it. chicken. Yeah. If you guys remember Pie Day that we had yeah. here, yes. and we all brought in some savory, some mm -hmm. sweet. Tim, you actually brought in quiche. I brought in yeah. the, I So brought you in are quiche. a quiche kind of well, guy. I'm, I'm coming on to quiche. This is kind of I like love a, it. I've never, I was never really into it, but you're um, growing into yeah, it. Yeah, there's a there's a bakery that are, that's close to us that makes a very good quiche because mm -hmm. the key with the quiche is I don't think I want fava beans in my quiche. Or I don't I, think so either. No, because there's something Unless in there. Unless you have a nice Chianti with it. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> But it's the um, it's the crust. It's the pie crust. Yes. It's the key it to a quiche. Be like, it can't be wet. No, it needs no. to like it needs to like you fall know? apart. Well, it's not, just like, not necessarily the, the pastry, but the, the eggs. eggs. Yeah, like, the eggs can't be they can't be wet. Oh. They can't be runny. Runny. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. It has to be like a good solid quiche. Right. You need to really get can, into can it. Can you make your own quiche? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I, you? I've never tried. Right. Oh, I've made thousands of quiche. Oh right. My mother being British though, I think it was kind of weaned into me that right. you know. Right. And what would your be ideal quiche? What are you putting in there? Um. I'm putting in onions, I'm putting in bacon, mm. I'm putting in asparagus mm. or spinach mm, okay. or ham right. or, uh, I mean, like the choices are endless. Okay. Anything that mushrooms? you would, tomatoes, M mushrooms. See, I think yeah. tomato, they're, they're wet though. No, they, they are. They would make things wet. But, yeah, you put them on cherry top. tomatoes, no. Yeah. No. yeah, and if you put them on top, like it, it and they're good. Yeah. They bake in. Yeah, right. yeah. Sure. Um, this news devastated me this morning. Mm -hmm. Like I feel a little bit sick to my stomach because I'm so gutted. Uh, a longtime star of the daytime television series The Young and the Restless is sharing details about his cancer diagnosis. Keeping my fingers crossed and saying all sorts of good, sending all good, happy vibes to him. He's been on that show for 42 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. He's been Victor on that show almost as long as I've been alive. Yeah. And but that, good that he's mentioning it to get mm -hmm. for other men to get checked. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and yeah. I think mm -hmm. his his message is certainly very important. And I wish, you know, I hope all celebrities kind of use their voice, which a lot of them do. Um, but I, yeah, it just. Ugh. Mm. I said it in the newsroom, and a couple of people were like, "What?" So, we're sending positive vibes your way, Eric. Mm. Oh, yay, fun, you're here. Come on in. It's, uh, it's Tuesday, it's April the 25th. Some people are a little tired this morning. Might have been up past their bedtime last night <laughs> watching a certain hockey game. But that feeling, would have been you, but yes, feeling good on yes, the outcome. Yeah, feeling pretty good on the outcome. And we'll talk about that uh, in Sportsline as uh, Big Leafs win and <laughs> some of the fan reactions.
<laughs> from the Leafs winning. Like Leaf fans are just, we're we're all little. So, it's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, some of the reactions are good stuff. So that's coming up in, uh, in Sportsline. Let's bring our family in here. Okay. Hello, Brian. Hello, Morning. Emily. Hello, Emily. Morning. What do you have coming up in Chit Chat? Well, we're going to be talking about Twitter again. <laughs> I know the blue check mark thing will not go away, but uh, <laughs> that's topic of conversation. And we'll also talk about some big news in the United States and the media. I'm sure oh, from yesterday. Oh, yeah. 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 So that came yeah. that came down yesterday with Tucker Carlson and, um, and Don, Don Lemon. Lemon. Yeah, because yeah. I was listening to it. I feel bad for Don Lemon because all the news is about Tucker Carlson. <laughs> yeah, kind of. You know what I mean? It's kind of like um, Farrah Fawcett. Remember Farrah oh, Fawcett? Oh, she died the day that Michael Jackson died. Yeah. Yeah. No and it came did. it came out afterwards, right? Yeah. And it was, yeah. 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 It'd be kind of like if I went down in a plane crash with Annette. Everybody would be talking about Annette. It's <laughs> like, oh, what about that other guy? Your co-host that was in the plane. There's wow. a cheery Who thought. Who was that guy? Who was that guy? Who was that guy? might be the most famous person in the plane until you get talked about. Anyways. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did you ever think, don't you ever think about that? No. No. Oh, no. You don't? <laughs> Oh, I do okay. sometimes think about like going to my own funeral just to see who's there. Oh, who's there and who's not? Yeah. <laughs> Is that weird? Will we be there? I don't know. You better be there. It's <laughs> grim. I don't know. <laughs> We're yeah. taking, a, taking a right uh, wrong turn here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Taking a bad turn. Yeah. So that's what I have coming. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Brian always helps us out. Well, uh, yeah, I, I have some good news. At least it'll be a little bit milder today than yesterday. Okay. Yay! But. But first, let's talk to Riley. Riley is the owner here, and this was actually passed down to you from your sensei. 53 years you guys have been in the business. Yes. Talk to me about that. So, you know, the Grimsby Karate Dojo has been operating since 1970. Uh, so we've been a staple in our community and the surrounding communities for over 53 years. Mm -hmm. um, I am the third sensei to take this dojo on, and so I'm very blessed with this, uh, this opportunity to be doing that. And so, um, wow. You know, my, my goal is to impart upon these students what I've had the, the pleasure to learn from mm -hmm. my instructors, and mm -hmm. I don't think that there's any better uh, job out there. What's the most important thing for people to learn when they first come in here? I know a lot of it is not just physical, a lot of it's mental. And that's, and that's true. You know, I think that the thing that people need to know the most is that the martial arts is not something that you have to feel barred by mm -hmm. anybody can do it if, if you're if you're young if you're old if you have an injury if you don't have an injury uh, you know everyone here is welcome we're, we're able to participate in some way shape mm -hmm. or form and so one thing that um, we make adamantly clear to people is mm -hmm. that anybody can do this no matter your skill level and uh, we welcome everybody now what's the difference there are all sorts of martial arts that you can do uh there's karate there's taekwondo there's i mean the list goes on and on what do you love about karate so much well what's nice about the martial arts in general mm -hmm. is that there's many different styles but i believe that martial arts are supposed to be flexible not only physically but mentally okay. you know there's many different styles and I think that we should take pieces from every single one of them okay. and be well-rounded versatile martial artists so while we teach karate and that's our primary style mm -hmm. we also incorporate you know traditional Okinawan weaponry and mm -hmm. and jujitsu and judo principles and some of even the modern day boxing yeah uh, so you know I, I just think it's really important to be well-rounded and that's pretty evident in, in our teachings at our school. Yeah, and I mean, I'm looking around and you've got little kids. Like, what's what do you say the youngest age is that you have in here? We start kids off at four years old. So cute. Yeah, so <laughs> we call that our Little Dragons program. Aww. And we have older students who are up in their 70s, 70, 70 wow. years young. Um, so it's really something that people of all ages can do. And we want people to join our family. And I love so that. everyone here is welcome. All right, well, coming up, we're going to learn to do a little bit of karate. I'm not going to hurt myself today. I'm not going to be throwing people over my shoulders like I've done in the past. Uh, but you want to stay with us because there's a lot more exciting stuff coming up on Morning Live. Hey, thank you. All right, thanks so much, Brian. Days after stripping non-paying Twitter followers of the verified blue check mark, the social media reinstated them to non-paying accounts, and that included those belonging to dead celebrities. Because the rule is that changed on the weekend, you get your blue check mark back, whether you paid for it or not, if you have over a million followers. Mm. So should they have done a little bit more 
uh, data research or put in a. But they still have accounts, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I wonder if it's just an there. algorithm where that's it's like I mean. if, if it have... was just a million, boom, yeah, you got that's it. That's exactly yeah. what it was. Yeah. Right. But and half of them, well, at least it looks like half of them, don't even want the blue check mark anymore because they're mm. so fed up with this whole drama to begin with. Yeah. Um, me too. Yeah. I'm fed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm. I, I, that sign, Emily, stop talking about this. No, no, we no. Don't care. It's, it's just, yeah, like. So who cares? Do we care? I think we all show a collective who cares to Elon Musk. <laughs> I don't know. I, see, I use Twitter. I'm a big Twitter user. Yeah, it's very important for, yeah. for what I do for my job, but it's never been a thing for me. But I'm, are you going to trust people? Yes, you know, yes. If, yes. If I always have, but verified. I, it doesn't change yeah. anything that I do with We're Twitter. not verified. Yeah. Do you trust us? Yeah. <laughs> it was a wild day in the U.S. for cable news yesterday. CNN letting go Don Lemon and Fox News firing Tucker Carlson. Now, it took late night hosts about one second to jump all over it. Yes. Well, that was big, but it, it, I don't think it would have hit late night in such a joking manner. Uh, well, because we don't yeah. have the late night scene yeah. in, in, in this country. But, but I don't like think other. anyone was making fun of it. Right. You know, yeah, like yeah. Tucker well, Carlson. Well, because there's the left and the right, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Were right. they like, saying yeah. the same about Don Lemon? Well, they, they mentioned something about Don Lemon. Now, in the next hour, if you would like, I don't want to bore you guys, but if you would like, we could talk a little bit more She's about Don Lemon. Touchy, okay. Eh? Wow. Goodness. All right. Okay. Let's, let's talk about what's in the next hour. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking to uh, Mohit Rajans. We love having him on the show. Mm -hmm. He's talking about tips on protecting seniors on social media. Okay. Emily Richards is cooking up a storm right now in Argentina, <laughs> and it smells so good. So good. Yeah. Uh, she has some uh, recipes from a new cookbook uh, that she's a part of. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if you're celebrating a birthday today, it is April the 25th. You share it with uh, Al Pacino and Renee Zellweger. All right, we're going to try to uh, apply a little technique to my karate skills. I've done workouts before, but nothing as intense as this. So, Riley, the basics. It's so important to learn the basics. Yes. These are not basics that you're going to teach me, are they? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a curveball and make it a little challenging oh, for great. you. Okay, well, let's you're get started. Far, right? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so if someone's going to punch you, yeah, they're going to punch you straight on. I hope right? so. And, uh, yeah, well, you don't <laughs> hope so, but we'll see what happens. Now, you have two options, okay? If you're going to punch me, I'm not going to stand there and take the punch, right? I'm going to move out of the way. I guess. Now, there's two ways I can move. I can move to the outside, mm -hmm. which means the outside of the person's body. Yeah. Or if they throw the punch, I can move to the inside of the person's body. Okay. Okay? Now, outside principle. Inside principle. Okay. 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 So usually we have combinations. So we don't just end with one block and that's it. Right. We have a block, a counter punch, sometimes a kick, and then a takedown. Okay. So I'm going to show you really quickly what to do. All right. I'm not going to take you down. You're going to take me down. Okay. So what okay. we're going to do is we're going to keep it nice and simple. Okay. I'm going to throw a punch to you. You're going to take your hand. You're going to step to the outside of my body. Okay. And you're going to deflect or block away that punch. Okay. Okay. So nice and slow. I'm going to come in and punch. Great. Now, you can see that my back is to you, which means you have an easy shot to the ribs, to the kidney, to the head. Okay. You got lots of options. Now. Uh -huh. What we can do is we can take this hand and grab my arm. You can take that leg and take out my knee. Ooh. Boom. Okay. <laughs> you can do stuff like that. It's easy. Super simple. Now, imagine doing it 10 times harder and breaking someone's knee. But we're not going to do that today uh, because <laughs> we wouldn't friends. be in business for very long if we did that. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, once again, I'm going to step in and throw that punch. You're going to step to the outside and block. Okay. One. Great. Now, Wait, take the knee up. I'm supposed to punch you there first? Sure. Mm, nice. Strong leg. No, that's okay. The nice thing about karate is whatever works. Okay? Really? We're going to add another element, though, all right? Okay. So I'm going to throw that punch. You're going to step to the outside. Actually, here, throw a punch at me. I'm going to step to the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to block. I'm going to throw that counter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab on the shoulder, take out the knee. Then I'm going to step my foot around, Whoa. and I'm not going to let you fall. Okay. But you see what that did to your balance, <laughs> You're right? You're gone. Now, if you do that right, and you, okay. and you pull the leg, and you give a little push, all right, I'm ready. The ground. Ready? I'm Here ready. Here we go. So I'm Wait, you're punching that. me. I'm going to punch nice okay, and ready. slow. So block, counter, ugh, kick, and wrap the right. Yeah, good. <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, lots more coming up for now. I'm going to throw things back inside the studio. I didn't hurt you, did I? <sighs> no, I'm good. He's okay. <laughs>
Mark, come on in. It's Tuesday, April the 25th. Oh, we're having a time on this uh, on this Tuesday morning. Because we you know, we could talk about the weather, but there's not much changing with the weather this no, week, really, not. Brian. Um, no, there let's bring much. you in here. Let's bring Emily in here. Morning, guys. Morning. Um, I could because it's pretty status quo. Yeah. Right? It's kind not of a lot is not a lot is changing. Uh, Thursday we'll get more sun, but okay. next couple of days pretty much the same. Chance of a shower with a bit of sun. Right. So and we're kind of getting back up to seasonal. Uh, uh, close, close, close okay. to seasonal, closer. I mean, we only got to seven yesterday. Today, eleven. Tomorrow, ten. But thirteen by Thursday. So, I yeah, just that'll get better. In the backyard, and I just want to do so many things back there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yep. I have to, I have to paint the deck, and I want to get into the garden, and like it is mm -hmm. kind of eager to get in there. But mm -hmm. I guess kind of May is the first time to get in there. April is always a little frustrating because mm -hmm. you, yeah. you want to oh, yeah. do stuff, but you know you should let the critters do their thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the bees. Yes. Save, save, save the bees. Save the bees. Save the bees. <laughs> okay, well, the sun is uh, sun shining behind you this morning, huh, at least. Uh, yeah, uh, finally, we're getting a bit of sunshine here this morning. Well, we've actually got out some weapons now, Riley. What are these called? So, we call these tonbo, okay? T O N B O. And it just means a short stick. It's just a stick of wood. <laughs> That's all it is. But Fancy name for something not so fancy. Yeah, in the martial arts, anything can be a weapon. As a matter of fact, our hands are our weapons. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Karate means empty hand. Karate, mm -hmm. empty Okay, what are we learning how to do here? Well, today we're just going to learn a basic block and a counter, okay? okay? So if someone's hitting us on the head with the top of a baseball bat or with their, you know, a stick, a, something you find in the woods, mm -hmm. I don't see the likelihood of that happening. <laughs> you never but know. just in case it does, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit you on top of the head. And the Great. way you block is you put the weapon above you and you support the weapon right in the middle and you press it out arm straight. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to this. I'm going to hit you on top of the head. You're going to block. Fantastic. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this weapon away from me. So you're going to take that hand and grab the weapon. Great. Now you're going to break my fingers. You're going to drop them down on my fingers. So that's going to hurt. Now you're going to lift that up and pull it away. Ha ha! Da -da. <laughs> I got to run now. So. <laughs> I guess I've got two. And he's got none. <laughs> Want to try it again? Of course. Here we go. So I'm going to hit you down on top of the head. You're going to block. Great. Grab and lift. Yes. That's it. Ta -da. Bravo. Now, are you ever worried, especially with kids coming into martial arts, that they're going to use their weaponry skills where they shouldn't? No. And, and the reason being is because we often don't really teach weapons to new and beginning students. Okay. Most of the students you see behind you are advanced students in our school and have mm -hmm. been training for a while. And mm -hmm. so we'll give them that education kind of as an added bonus. Right. But you know, one thing that's really important in the martial arts is the concept of discipline and respect. And yeah. so we make it clear to our students that the things we teach in our dojo are meant to be used only for self-defense purposes mm -hmm. uh, and only as a last resort. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we tell our students, no, you shouldn't be carrying the karate weapons and tools around mm -hmm. with you. You shouldn't be showing your friends at, at school or on the playground or at your workplace the things you're learning because you know, here we're in a controlled environment, yeah. but when you're not, when you're in an external environment, somebody can get hurt, mm -hmm. and we don't want that to happen because we want to make sure that the martial arts is a safe thing for people to do so that they can stay mm -hmm. in shape, they can learn basic, you know, gratitude and, mm -hmm. and respect and discipline. Because that's these, a big thing it's in, in martial arts. I would sure. even go so far as to saying that it's more important than the physical aspect. Mm. You know, it's, it's a mind uh, art. Yeah, all. I want to talk more about that. So we're going to discuss coming up. Stay with us on Morning Live. Thank you so much, Brian. Well, Disney says it's laying off several thousand workers across the company this week. Did Goofy get it? Well, no, I, so I read that these are corporate jobs, so none of the hourly employees at the parks mm. are going to be mm -hmm. cut. Mm -hmm. oh. so, that's, oh, so that's good. It's like the, the big wigs. Good, but, but, well, not, not even the big wigs, but there are so many divisions, right, mm -hmm. that you, you don't even see at Disney. That's, it's like yeah. they have, it's, they probably have so many people, they have meetings about meetings about meetings. It's funny because you, th you think... They have 220,000 well, employees. Well, because you think, when, mm -hmm. when, you, yeah. when I say Disney, what do you think? Mickey Mouse. Okay. What do you what do you think? Uh, I think of the parks. I think of the parks too. Yeah. I think I immediately yeah. think of the, yeah. I think of the parks. So then you when don't you think say, of head office. No, or or, or the other or ESPN mm -hmm. or all the other ABC, or, or, yeah. or the movies. You yeah. know what I mean? You think you immediately go when you say di di like Disney um, job cuts, you think the park. Yeah. So maybe about. people that run the parks with the parks and entertainment division, but it, it's mm -hmm. it's not hourly mm -hmm. employees. Mm -hmm. I always feel like there's always kind of a trickle down. 
So we'll see because they said this is the first of three yeah, majors. But so I, we'll I know see what's uh, I know at the parks like they have a a labor shortage. Like they can't get people mm. enough people wow. to work. Yeah. And Disney's one of those places where you need all of the people because if you've been to Disney, you know how perfect it is. There's no garbage. It smells nice. They actually blast, you know, air freshener into the air. So when you're walking through <laughs> They do. They do. Each hotel has its own signature scent. And so when you're walking through the park, <laughs> like to like it'll smell like donuts. <laughs> or like it'll or chocolate smell chip like, cookies. Yeah. And then you go like, and get a donut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's for. And it's I like know. blasting it yeah. out of these tiny little speakers hidden by bushes that are quite strategically placed with no garbage around them like you find a garbage can and there's no garbage around it there's a garbage I think it's every 30 steps there's a garbage can yeah it's immaculate yeah mm. Disney's so perfect I love it <laughs> all right the edge of you two sorry I, don't, I, I guess I'm getting a call you got? imagine I answered it right on the air sure. it's Bob Iger <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bob. oh good yes to. yes <laughs> I have someone here who's a big fan <laughs> All right, the Edge of U2 says their groundbreaking shows in Las Vegas this fall will make audience members feel they are not only just looking at the show, but actually in the show itself. Sir, the energy and the excitement and you're looking up constantly and around, I just, I don't know, I'd probably throw up. They know how to put on a show though. I'm not a huge, huge U2 fan, but I've seen them in concert and it Good is energy. one yeah. heck of mm -hmm. a show. Mm -hmm. And that will be the case mm -hmm. there too. Mm -hmm. All right, yesterday I tried my <laughs> skills and I managed to take some to do the ground not in this segment but I did do it earlier check this out the only time you fail is when you give up in, I mean, in my bad writing <laughs> no that looks amazing <laughs> I love the general message here I love the general message of martial arts what kind of programs do you guys offer here so like I said earlier we teach people of all skill mm -hmm. levels all ages yeah. we start kids as young as four years old so cute and we, yeah it's adorable <laughs> And they're all so focused yeah. and yeah. they work so hard and they're scary. You know, some of them are, they really mean business oh, when, they're, yeah. when they're working. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and we teach adults. We have great programs for adults, teens, youth, uh, and, and our Little Dragons program, which is ages four to seven. So we can really serve our community and make sure that everybody has a place here to call home. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we really just want to spread the message of the things that, you know, that we've been taught over the years to our students. Yeah. Um, and I often say that the hardest belt to get in karate is the white belt because mm -hmm. yeah. you have to start. Yeah. yeah. Right? And, yeah. and some people, they don't start. It's true. So, they just I mean, think about starting. That's right. So the white belt is truly the hardest belt to get. And, and you know, we really make it our goal to ensure that our students are learning top-notch martial arts that they can carry with them for the rest of their lives. Yeah, because, again, it's not necessarily just a physical. Yeah. It's a lot of a mental game as well when it comes to martial arts. I'm just looking yeah. at the belts that are over there. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are solid. Some of them have stripes. Yes. yes. What's the difference? Yeah. I'm dying to know. <laughs> so the rack that's on the right, with our uh, striped belts. Yeah. That's from our Little Dragons program. So okay. they have a bit of a different system so that they can uh, learn and progress at a different level than our older students. So when they get to the green, do they have to start over at white? No. Okay. So they don't actually go to a green belt in our karate program okay. uh, because they've satisfied the requirements I see, at that point I see. to be able to learn what the green belt students are learning in our karate program. Okay. So, you know, we, we, we really make sure that our students are learning. We pay attention to all of our students. Yeah. We really strive to make sure that one-on-one -on -one training is something yeah. that we can offer to all of our students yeah. because if we treat our students like numbers, then they're not going to operate at the quality that we want them to. Yeah, so that's everyone very true. here is like family. That's awesome. Uh, and we really make sure that everyone gets yeah. that. I love that sense of community. That's probably yeah. the best thing, the takeaway from here. It's helped us, you know, be around for 53 yeah. years, and I, I don't plan on, you know, stopping that anytime yeah. soon. It's just too important. Oh, that's so great. Okay, if people want to get a hold of you, if they want to book some classes, can they come in for like try it out maybe for class? Absolutely. See if they like it. Yep. So we have intro classes where students can uh, come and check things out. They can reach out to us on Facebook or okay. Instagram at Grimsby Karate Dojo. Okay. They can check out our website, what is Grimsby Karate. Okay. They can call us at 289-204-4289, uh, reach out, say hi, we'd love to have you. All right, well thanks for having us today, it's been a lot of fun, I've learned a couple new moves, look at me go. <laughs> thanks again. Stay away from me. Right? <laughs>